Hi everyone, uh, in this lecture video, we will discuss the simplified version of our X-ray circuit. This is important for us to safely use our X-ray machine unit at the same time to prolong the life of our X-ray tube. Let's start. Let's start with transformers. An isolation transformer is an electrical transformer with a primary and secondary winding. These windings are separated by insulation. This insulation limits the risk of electrocution when the active parts and dirt are touched simultaneously. Next, we have auto transformers. An auto transformer is an electrical transformer with only one winding. The term auto refers to a single coil acting alone, not to any kind of automatic mechanism. In an auto transformer, portions of the same winding act as both the primary and secondary sides of the transformer. With one winding, uh, an auto transformer adjusts the voltage automatically according to the load. The voltage and current ratio of transformers can be formulated the same as other two winding transformers. Next important concept is rectification. Rectification means changing the alternating current AC into a direct current DC. We want to make sure that the flow of electrons is from the filament going to the target anode and not the other way. AC electrical current flows in the conducting wire as a sinusoid as shown in the figure on the right. We have frequency of 60 cycles per second or 60 hertz. We use diodes to do rectification, and a diode is just an electronic device wherein we allow the current flow in one direction only, as shown in the arrow. Two diodes are used in halfway rectification. In this case, we eliminate the negative cycles, thus producing gaps in this part of the cycle. The X-rays are turned off during the negative phase, and electrical uh, current flows in the positive cycle only. This process alternately uh, turns on and off the X-ray at the rate of 60 Hz. Current can be redirected so that it will only flow in the same direction during throughout the cycle, thus producing a DC. This process is a full wave rectification wherein the entire electric cycle is used for X-ray production. In this case, the X-ray output will occur at 120 Hz compared to the 60 Hz for half-wave rectification, thus doubling the X-ray output. We can group the X-ray circuit into three. First, low-voltage circuit or the control circuit. Second, high-voltage circuit. Last is the filament circuit. Starting at the AC power supply, current will flow on some components until it reaches the primary side of the step-up transformer. Aside from the step-up transformer, all of the devices in this sub-circuit are actually located within the control console. And this console is the unit where the operator sets all the exposure techniques, such as kilovolts uh, peak or KVP, the milliamperes MA, and exposure time. We also have the circuit breaker here that protects the entire circuit in getting damage. AC power supply, the number one here, is provided by the electric power company. Next is a main switch that controls the power to the control console. A line voltage compensator is present here, making sure that we have a precise voltage, usually 220 volts. The next component is the auto transformer which varies the voltage to the primary side of the step-up transformer. And this is done by the KVP selector present here in number 4 at the secondary winding side of the auto transformer. Then, it will reach the exposure switch that closes the circuit and letting the current uh, to flow through the primary side of the step-up transformer. Last, uh, the exposure timer, 6, is the device that stops the exposure and is set by the operator on the control console. Next, we have the filament circuit. This is a sub-circuit that supplies low current to induce thermionic emission of electrons at the filament side of our X-ray tube. We have here a step-down transformer before introducing the current to the filament. This circuit is activated by the operator through the adjustment of the MA. 
the sub-circuit begins at the secondary side of the auto transformer and the current flows from the auto transformer through the MA selector up to the primary side of the step down transformer and back of course to the auto transformer. Then the secondary side of the step down transformer conducts the low current through the X-ray tube filament. This is done by the step down transformer through the reduction of the voltage on the secondary side giving an appropriate low current to heat the filament. The MA selector controls the heat filament and this setting determines the number of available electrons at the X-ray tube filament. Thus, determines the MA in the high voltage circuit that includes the X-ray tube. Last is the high voltage circuit. This sub-circuit starts at the secondary side of this step-up transformer, which is also called the high tension transformer, wherein the second set of coils has more turns compared to the primary side which uh, works under mutual induction. Uh, for example, if the primary side of the step-up transformer receives 200 volts from the auto transformer, and the ratio of this is 500 is to 1, the voltage induced in the secondary side will be 100 kilovolts. We have the X-ray tube here and the rectifier unit. The current flows in the circuit only during an exposure. This is a dangerous circuit because of the very high voltage uh, KV, thus high insulation for the cables is needed. Hey guys, I hope you have learned something in this video. If you like my content, please consider subscribing my YouTube channel, JP Academia. And if you're new in YouTube, there is a button right down below this video. Just click that to subscribe. See you then. Bye guys.